going down Saturday, October 23rd. Bethesda Blues and Jazz presents Brand Nubian. Smith and Wesson, live in concert. For tickets and more information, log on to Bethesda Blues. October 23rd, Brand Nubian, Smith and Wesson in the building. It's crazy. Stephen Clinton during the middle of the gang era. So can you imagine going to an all-boys school where there's a dozen gangs? So tell me about some of the gangs that existed back then, because, you know, mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of people know understand when they think of gangs right now, they think of the Bloods and the Crips. But back in the 70s, you know, mm -hmm. the 60s and 70s, you know, New York had a big gang culture. So, uh... Why don't you just give us a little history on some of the gangs that you remember that existed? No, no, actually, days. originally when the gang started, but by the time I got to Jim Clinton in the uh, in like mid seventies, early to mid seventies, you had the Black Spades, mm. the Black Pearls, the Savage Nomads, the Seven Javelins, the Royal Crowns, the Bachelors. Mm. I mean, ooh man, it was so many of them. And so imagine, that imagine like being so an all yes. boy, an all boy school, which is about average of three thousand in there, and how many gangs is in there? But I got cool with them before they ain't messing none of the people that was into sports. They mm. really, they ain't really messing to regular people. They just get it into <laughs> it with gangs, not right. messing with no regular people. It's gangs against gangs. And I go, and matter of fact, I got cool with my man. He was in there. He was in my homeroom class. Um, Blood, Mitch Green. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Mitch Green was in your homeroom class. Yes, indeed. Uh -huh. And what kind of nigga was Mitch Green? He was the time. Him? I think he was the leader of the Black Pearls at that time. Mm. But me and him got cool, and he was like saying, I'm his little man, you know? So, you know, I was good with everybody, you know? Right. Like, but, um, after that, died down, started going to Cool Herc Affairs, and then started going to all. I was always up and down through the Bronx. Me from Harlem, hanging in the Bronx so much. Which is why you became synonymous with the Bronx, I believe. Probably um, so. So, you know, I got to ask, man. <laughs> you know, you ran a lot with Zulu Nation. Yes. Recently, some allegations came against Bambada mm -hmm. um, that said he was, you know, doing some things to some young boys. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you witnessed or had any kind of feeling of back then? Tell you, God's when, when honest you truth. Him? God's honest truth. I never saw nothing, never heard of anything. Mm. You may heard of speculations what was taken back in the gang era, but during that present time I was around him, I didn't hear none of that. So I now, know what do you not, mean by that speculations of, of the gang era? Speculation is like similar to what you asking me now. I was right. here during the gang era, you know, for initiation, this what was going on. So that's what I was hearing. Right. I, a reason I can't speak much on it because if I didn't witness it, what is it for me to speak about? Mm. So now here it is. He I'm was hearing that some of the gang's initiation had to do with some homosexual practices. That's what I was hearing. 
Right. Okay. But once again, I went, now being around with Bam and Zoom Nation, I never witnessed anything. None. Not at all. Not one time. So what is it? Can I speak on something I never seen or never heard of? Right. So now here it is. When I start becoming into my own, and I'm still part of Zoom Nation, but I'm branching off to get into my own. I still don't know what's going on because I'm busy in my vision looking upon what I'm doing to build myself. So now, what year is it that we start hearing things? I don't even know. Meanwhile, I moved on. Right. I mean, you know, we, we came up in Strong City Studios. You know that. You know yes. what I mean? Rocky Buchanan and all. And that was like a Zulu Nation stronghold. You right. know what I mean? Bambada used to be up in there all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, did I ever see anything? No. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, did I hear some rumors? Not about gang initiation, but I heard some rumors one time, but whatever. I heard some rumors. But that's just rumors. That's not some shit I ever seen or whatever. So the same way. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. The only thing that made me a little weird about the whole shit when it came out in the beginning and what made me say something in the first place, because I probably wouldn't have said anything really, was when our brother B Stinger, who we all know, Mm -hmm. okay, if especially if he was up at Strong City Studios, when when the brother Bam said that he didn't know B Stinger, to me, that was a red flag. I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I know for a fact that he knows B Stinger. Why would you lie about that? You know what I mean? So it's mm. like, man, you may you made yourself look bad because if you lie about that, what else are you lying about? Like, because you definitely know B Stinger. I've seen y'all in the same room on many of occasion. You know who B Stinger is. Everybody knows who B Stinger is. Now, you know well, what I mean? around what year was this going on? What what was what going on? What year when you start hearing about certain things? You was hearsay. The, the hearsay was not what he was doing per se specifically to anybody. You know what I mean? But you know, if I keep it a thousand, you know. The, the rumor was, yo, Bam might be gay. You know what I mean? That was the rumor. Okay. It wasn't like, yo, he did some shit to, you know, it wasn't no, oh, he's a pedophile or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Right. But it was and just that- a, a plain rumor. And it was like, and, and then it was like, really? You know what I mean? It was like, well, damn, I don't see it. You know what I mean? And it's just like, he ain't gonna act like that. If he is, that's his fucking business. You know what I mean? That's kind of how we took it. Like, you know what I mean? Now, now the reason I asked that because once I said, once I start pulling off, being on the radio. And this is, oh, uh, well, this got to be in the late 80s, early 90s. Okay, late 80s, early 90s. Mm-hmm. Once I start getting more involved with radio, playing more downtown, and then later on being like in um, Union Square, Latin quarters, building my team around me, the violators, meeting new friends and I wasn't up in Bronx River that much. Only if I came up for anniversaries or certain occasions. So I don't know day by day what's going on up there. You know, I'm downtown and around my neighborhood making my name for what I'm known to be. So that's what I say. What is it can I say if I never witnessed or I never heard of? Right. Well, we, that's all. That's all you can say. It's just, but we need to know what your account is because you're associated. You, you see what I'm saying? And this nope. is something that came up. And so we feel like, well, damn, did people that was in, the, you know, in the early stages of this, did they see anything that, you know, they was alarmed by or whatever the case may be? Like, And you know what? That's a true factor. But many of times let's face this in real life. They, we've, been run, we've been living around people that have done all the wrong things in their lives and some of them live a double life and you don't even know what's going on with them Factor. so they be like well you know them you've been around them but I don't know what they doing right. <laughs> so what is it can I speak on if I don't see it I right. never heard about it so that's what I'm saying we, we live around killers 
we live around drug dealers, we live around. If somebody came to me and say, yo, man, he ride up and down looking for that, he's a drug dealer. I said, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I ain't never seen him sell drugs. Mm-hmm. But you heard, well, you know he's drug. How you gonna say, I know if I never see what he do? So how you gonna tell me he's a killer? Did I see him kill a person? So, you know, people go always associate you because you know that person, but you don't know what their li- their life is about. No, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. All right. Well, listen, you 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 answered that flawlessly. I uh, appreciate it. 